peeps and welcome back to Jazz's Angel Number Tarot. It is a different vibe over here because today we're tapping into the sign of Virgo for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus placements. Wherever you have the Virgo placement in your chart, you can apply this to. Before we get started, DM my Instagram in the description below if you'd like your own private tarot read. You can ask whatever question you want for your reading. Like this video, please subscribe to my channel and comment below what video you want to see next. So let's get right into it, Virgo. What do you have going on during this time? This one wanted to fly out. Ooh, good, good, okay. What is going on for Virgo? I just heard someone's learning how to manifest. That's always cool. Ooh, we got Rada. I like never get her from this deck. Ooh, I'm so excited for you guys. Wow, 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 wow. What else is going on for Virgo? Yep, I knew it. Oh, we got a lot of them that just came out for you low key. Ah! Okay, let's get into it. Um, so Lord Ganesh with infinite abundance. At the bottom of this one, it says obstacles are being removed. Spiritual connections are increasing. Wow. So you guys are being able to connect to your lineage, finally connect with your guides. I just definitely feel it's more than an ascension. It's like a connection. You're plugging in the power cord, Virgo. And once you plug into that power cord, okay, it's lit. You're able to use that power however you want to power up any device, whether it's you want to send, you know, know cosmic energy to your heart chakra to your love life you know or you know to your whatever like whatever area in your life needs a boost girl <laughs> I know all of you guys aren't girls but I just really felt like saying that we got Melchizedek with higher learning, you have learned from experience. More inner study is now required to further progress. So you guys, the universe is like, well, hold up now. Now that you have all of this energy and now that you finally made the connection here, you still are very much so in the learner's position. So a lot of people, they get connected to this power. As soon as they feel this power, they go on a manifesting rampage. Okay, guilty myself. Um, once you kind of really tap in, especially for that like first time when you really have this power or something happens, happens where you just cannot deny the power you have um, a lot of people really just want to get manifesting start using it be careful what you wish for that a part of the reason I say that is because when I did first have my ascension a lot of crazy energy just came to me and the things that I wanted were manifesting like crazy and some of them turns out I did not want at all it just seemed like something I had wanted but when I had got it um yes it was serving um mess it was serving um unorganized it was serving you played yourself okay so don't be like me then we have Sister Rada with Soul Flame. Uh, rediscover a lost part of yourself. Experience relationship, harmony, and healing. Wow, beautiful. I'm so happy for you guys. You're, you know, repairing that Soul Flame energy. Also, that lost part of yourself is, you know, the part of your memory that you can't remember from past lives um, in which you had great power. Um, so I'm telling you guys, you're definitely plugging in the power cord, Virgo. This is a lot comes with a lot of responsibility. We have Sephiroth B with Ascension. Um, move into your true self. Rise above darkness. The light is here. So again, you guys, some of you, once you connect to this power, you may feel like, oh, I want to take revenge or I want to do this. I want to get back at this person. The light is here. You know what the best karma is for someone? Having to live without you and you just succeeding. You living the very, the very best possible life while they're still, you know, in that mess or while they're still still wherever they are you don't even care you know you guys I'm telling you that's the best possible revenge someone not being able to have access to you while you have access to everything um to Kali Ma with facing fear some of you guys are a little nervous some of you guys have already started to feel this energy come through you may be feeling anxious not really able to identify why you even feel the way you do you may have some Pisces in your chart Pisces got a crazy reading reading and I'm tapping into the same kind of energy with the spiritual gift stuff's happening Oof, that was a lot um but yeah 
Uh, at the bottom of this one, it says major spiritual changes are unfolding. Unfolding. This is your chance to soar. So this is for you, Virgo. This is all for you. You deserve this. It is your birthright to be successful, to have happiness and success here. You know, just take a moment to embrace it. Take a moment to enjoy it before you get the handing out golden tickets for everyone to break off a piece of your energy, okay? This is a gift to you. And, you know, it's human nature if you're, like, more empathic to want to, you know, give to other people. But just take a moment to really enjoy the energy coming through for you guys. Um, Sanat Kamara. With light activation, shine your light. Your internal guidance is coming through loud and clear. You know what to do. You know what you should be doing. Like I said, you're definitely extremely plugged in. So you may be having some weird spiritual, uh, you know, things happening. That's what I was saying in the beginning before I got distracted. But some weird things may be happening. You be you may be feeling, you know, weird noises, having um, uh, lucid dreams. You know, having some can, going to different dimensions. I remember the first time I did that. I said, guys, don't play with me. I, I, I said, no, we're not doing this on tonight. I'm not going to that dimension. It scares me. Um, and I had to take like a, I had to like really acclimate myself when I started to experience that type of stuff. But, um, <laughs> you guys, um, take baby steps. Don't feel like you need to, you know, go at full force here. It's just going to unfold for you guys. It's opening up. You can do whatever you want to do. Go wherever you want to go. Some of you guys may be afraid of that right now. Just take baby steps. Or if you're just completely like, no, that's not for me. That's not what I want to do. Just harness the power and manifest it towards the things that you can see if you're not really into the spiritual stuff and you don't, you don't want to get to see in too much that's not your thing um you know just manifest that positive energy where you where you want it to go we have krishna with devotion trust your spiritual guidance your commitment has been recognized and you are loved unconditionally so like i was saying before you worked for this okay you worked for this take time to embrace it and then we have sarunos with life force express your driving passion sensual powers are increased that's another thing when you guys have a lot of power um it's kind of like you know how you get nervous sometimes and you get like blood or butterflies in your stomach and you feel like you want to do something just to get that energy out for a lot of people when you have this energy build up when you go through a spiritual ascension you'll start to get the feeling sensual you know what i'm saying <laughs> um listen that's a whole nother thing that i can talk about well, look, don't be giving up your energy to folks, okay? And make sure you're careful about who you are intimate with. I'm not talking about on a 3D level at all. I'm talking do not allow someone to get that spiritual energy or to spiritually influence you, okay? <clears throat> the chariot, fast forward motion, the emperor. Wow, you guys definitely really working with the universe. You are so freaking powerful. The Emperor and the Chariot is a crazy combination. This combination goes stoop, it goes crazy, and the power is literally all in your hands. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. The Chariot card, but the thing about the Chariot, the thing that saves it, whereas Pisces, they just had so much. If you have Pisces any, anywhere in your chart, go ahead and watch that video. But uh, with you guys, you're moving forward in balance, whereas they kind of had like so much power. It was just like almost uncontrollable. I see you guys really working with the universe quite well, actually, which is a really, really good energy. Three of Pentacles. That's a great energy. That's the best possible um outcome for you guys to work with the universe allow yourself to be guided yet still lead i'm pretty sure this hermit card did a flip so I, I think it was supposed to be in reverse i'll just keep it upright whatever but um regardless it's you coming out of your shell i really feel you guys coming out of that hermit energy like i feel like it's not even winter yet and you guys have already kind of hibernated and, and i mean haven't we all oh look at this you guys Oh my goodness, judgment in reverse, two of cups in reverse, replacing something that, wow, wow, 
Wow. Replacing something that wasn't even worthy for love of yourself and someone who loves you for you. Someone who doesn't want you to contort and try to do all these crazy things um, to earn their love. Someone who sees your goddesshood, your godhood. Someone who sees you as who you truly are. Someone recognizing your power. Wow, that must be a very emotionally balanced person because to see someone without ego is just like a hard thing in itself. Judgment card in reverse, though, the universe is really saying, do not worry about that past energy. Um, allow me to handle it. Some of you guys are very tempted, Virgo. Some of you guys are very tempted, but I don't feel like it's going to lead you anywhere that you want to be. With this moon card, you're not seeing the full spectrum of the situation if your first instinct is to get back at someone else. Like I said in the beginning of your spread, like Beyonce says, okay, your fellow Virgo queen, best revenge is your paper. And oh, uh, wow. You guys are walking into some abundance. You can translate that any way you want. You can make that into anything you want. We're not working on those old, we're not chipping off, chipping away. Like, And that's another thing. This energy is impossible to deny. This energy is just impossible to, not, to deny, you guys. Empress at the bottom of the deck. Woo! We got the emperor and the empress. Oh my goodness. I'm shook. That is a true balance of, that is divine masculine and divine feminine. This is Beyonce and Jay-Z right here. Okay? A boss and a boss. Wow. I'm going to keep this up here so I don't forget we had, had that. Let's see what else we got. I feel like all the lessons have been learned. King of Pentacles, you guys are walking into some abundance. You're feeling the power. People are respecting you as well. Some of you guys are tempted. Some of you guys are still hanging on to this old timeline. Uh, to be honest, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what would happen if you still hung, you know, hung on to the old timeline. I don't know. I don't feel like you're going to finesse yourself out of the blessings coming through, but I just feel like all of that energy of all the chaos that will ensue into you, like from you pouring into a situation that's not worth your time will be just as fo as powerful. So it's like, it can really rip your life to shreds. You know what I mean? Like if you channeled all that energy into, um, you know, your quaint or opening yourself up for new love or accepting the blessings of the universe, the abundance would just multiply and multiply. But if you invested all of that energy into lower vibrational things, bad habits, doing things that, you know, you don't want to do, going places you don't want to go with people you don't care to see that just want you there for whatever reason, like, why do you even want me here? We're not even having fun. I don't even like you. <laughs> you don't even like me. Why am I here? You know, investing yourself in those type of situations, you're going to get that same kind of result and it's going to be just as powerful, you guys. So it's like, choose your end of the spectrum where you want to be. But I feel like for the most of you, you're over it. You're done with that. You're, you're not getting in your own way. You're not working on things that aren't serving you at this point. You're just like, I'm just going to take this blessing and go about my business. New love just flew out. Yes. <clears throat> Healing family issues. Beautiful. Wow. At the bottom of healing family issues, it says your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So through your own experiences, some of you are having a whole awakening and you're realizing, wow, my parents are just people. And um, you're forgiving them. You're forgiving them for whatever they, you know, did or didn't do. You know, some of, for some people, you know, a lack of of your parents being around or a family being supportive of you, whatever, can be just as impactful as your parents, you know, outwardly doing something to hurt you. Um, we have new love, a new person, a sturdy romantic feelings. I'm telling you, someone is recognizing the power you have and they're like, yeah, cause no, I'm not gonna treat you like a regular because you're not a regular. Wow, I'm happy for you guys, this is great. This is so great. We have passion and attraction. This is what you're walking into, Virgo. Congrats. Um, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy is what it says at the bottom of passion. So you've worked for this, Virgo. You very much so deserve it. And then attraction, you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. 
yeah, like I said before, whatever you put your attention in is what's going to manifest into your life. And I'm not talking about you manifesting. I'm saying you're, you're, th that's what manifesting is. It's you putting your energy into something. So whatever you invest in right now is going to come back tenfold. So if you invest in, you know, toxic love versus romantic love, it's, it's going to, you know, you're going to see that your life is going to be a result of that. Very powerful spread. What other messages are there for Virgo? What are the other messages for Virgo? We have success, union, and study. Yeah, like I was saying before, back to that uh, higher learning out energy with Melchizedek. Um, it's definitely a, a time to study how everything works now in this new it feels like a new being, like this new energy you're in. It's going to take some some learning to see how this energy works. Wow. Yeah, we have regret and sunshine. You're definitely going to want to release any regrets that you have. Um, any insecurities that you have, release the need to fix everything or to make everything balanced. The situations will balance themselves, but your job right now, Virgo, is, is really just to enjoy this abundance that you've worked so hard for. I'd hate to see you. It's like getting a million dollars and instead of investing in, uh, you know, like a what's it called like a personal chef instead of investing into a personal trainer it's like getting a million dollars and using it to buy you a smorgasbord of junk you mean to tell me you have a million dollars and you can pay someone to make your meals literally making it so easy for you to be your best version of yourself and you're gonna spend all that coin on some bs i i, I don't even know what to say about that so we have study, union, and, su and success. You're definitely walking into some new energy here, Virgo, and it's going to be like never before. Never before. Walking into big union energy, someone who chooses you, chooses you. Action. There's action behind that. Someone who says, I want Virgo. Virgo is special. Virgo is valuable. Not someone who's choosy, don't care whether you stay or go. All right, so we have productivity and ruins. Yeah, like I said before, some of you guys are are really wanting to, to just fix things of the past just because it bothers you. Very big Virgo energy. <laughs> You're wanting to have someone, um, you know, get on the same page with you it's in ruins and the universe is telling you that's not your mess to clean up you know that's not your mess to clean up it's time for you guys to be productive walk into your new beginning and just explore and enjoy your abundance coming towards you you've tried already you've you've done what you could do if there's something that you know you need to do you know definitely go ahead and do that but i honestly feel like virgo you've done your part i do we have the swam, the swan spirit, the wombat spirit, and the sandpiper spirit. Beautiful sandpiper spirit. This should be a really joyous and fun time for you, Virgo. Be playful. Uh, this is your new beginning. You've earned it. We got the wombat spirit. Be home. Be home in your emotional body. Really spend some time with yourself right now because this is all for you, and it's going to be so fun for you to explore it. And then we have the swan spirit card, okay? It's about to get real. You're about to connect to that power source. Um, at the bottom of this card, it says time for a deep dive. I hope you're ready. That was your uh, spread, Virgo. DM my Instagram in the description below if you'd like your own private tarot reading. You can ask whatever question you want for your reading. Like this video, please. Subscribe to my channel. And comment below what video you want to see next. I love you. Be careful what you wish for. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.